There are some processes in PixInsight that are executed very quickly, so we can preview them in real time. This is the case with curves transformation and histogram transformation. To see the real-time preview, we need to activate this button. When we do this, a new window opens. This is the real-time preview. We can resize the real-time preview window like this. We can also click on the Fit Preview button to make the window as small as possible. When the real-time preview button is active, we can modify any of the tool parameters and we'll see the results in real time. If we want to compare the current image with the original image, we can turn off the real-time preview by clicking on the button, then turn it on again. Alternatively, we can click the Show Transformed Image button in the real-time preview window. The real-time preview works in the same way in histogram transformation. We can only have one real-time preview open at a time. If we activate the real-time preview in Curves Transformation, the Curves preview is shown and the histogram preview disappears. The same thing happens with Binarize or any other process window with this preview feature. To see the results in more detail, we can select a small area of the preview by pressing Ctrl and drawing a rectangle. Now we're only previewing the result in this area. If we want even more detail within this area, we can select another small area by pressing Ctrl and drawing another rectangle. Once we've defined at least one rectangle, the arrow buttons to navigate between the previews are enabled. The previews are nested. This is the first, the second, and the third, each with a higher zoom level than the previous one. If we want to go back to the whole image, we can click the Full Preview button. Some tools in PixInsight need to do some calculations before they can provide a real-time preview. This is the case of the multi-scale tools. When we click the Real-Time Preview button, the tool needs to pre-calculate each of the image's multi-scale layers. Once they've been calculated, we can start modifying the parameters, and we see the results very quickly. If we change the number of layers, the tool has to do the calculations again. If we increase the bias of the 32 pixel structures, we accentuate the large structures in the image. If we do the same to the layer of 2 pixel structures, we highlight only the small structures, most of which are stars. Once we've chosen all the parameters we want, we can close the real-time preview and apply the process to the main view or to the previews.